What's going on guys, Acidium here, and I have a game of Kill Confirmed on Interchange, but that's not really important because that's not what this video is about. Um, today I want to talk about bath salts and the upcoming zombie apocalypse that uh, everyone seems to think these two go hand in hand. So for those of you who don't know, bath salts are a new type of synthetic drug that have been getting... Um, a lot of it, like, I'd even say national attention lately, just, uh, mainly because, um, uh, they are an over-the-counter drug, so, it is really, uh, yeah, it's, it's this crazy powerful, uh, hallucinogenic drug that, uh, is, basically you can get it over-the-counter, which, uh, it's kind of crazy, you know, so it's, it's pretty accessible to, uh, almost anyone, and, um, yeah, it can cause you to trip balls. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, one particular case of it um, that uh, actually this I think this is really kind of the main case that have put uh, bath salts on the map really for recent news um, is uh, a couple weeks ago in Miami, Florida, a uh, a man was found by police. Um, eating another dude's face off in the middle of the street. So, uh, yeah, that's insane, really. <laughs> um, yeah, so, police found him, and they, he was, he was gnawing this dude's face off, and the police were all, then the police, um, you know, tried to get his attention, tried to get him to respond and not, uh, or tried to get him to respond and stop, and, uh, Apparently he just turned around and growled at them, much like a dog or like a lion uh, eating its food would if someone tried to take it. But, um, yeah, it's weird, but, um, oh, and kind of, I think the, uh, kind of what the icing on the cake was about this whole thing was, uh, police found the guy chewing the the guy that okay uh, excuse me when police found the guy that was chewing the other guy's face off he was naked like ass naked like stark naked and um, the guy who was getting his face chewed off was also naked too so it was basically two grown ass men in the middle of the street both ass naked one on top of the other chewing the other dude's face off which you know it, it obviously sucks for the guy who uh got his face uh, chewed off, you know, that's probably, you know, it's going to take him a while to recover from those injuries, but, uh, I mean, come on, you know, it's a little funny, like, that's kind of funny, like, imagine what you would do if you saw just two ass-naked dudes, like, you know, on the middle, of the, in the middle of the street, you know, and, um, yeah, it's a little funny, but, anyways, um, yeah, so this guy who was uh, chewing the other dude's face off, um, he, yeah, police tried to, okay, so yeah, so police tried to say something to him, or tried to get his attention and get him to stop. He growled at them, and they tased him, and that didn't put him down, and they ended up having to shoot him twice, which is pretty crazy, you know? A taser and two gunshots, um, two gunshots from a handgun, you know, what took, is what, what it took to take this guy down, which is, um, pretty nuts, you know? been on some crazy ass trip so but here's kind of the uh, curveball here is that it's a, allegedly it was he was on uh, bath salts when this happened but after an autopsy it was revealed that there were no bath salts at all in his system yes this was perhaps some other drug or maybe he was just uh, mentally not well but either way, this is kind of what leads into people thinking that, or this kind of what ties into the zombie apocalypse. So many people think that this is the first signs of the zombie apocalypse. And let me just say, um, you know, like, uh, you know, we, we can't know that for sure, but um, all signs point to, no, this is probably not the start of a zombie apocalypse. I mean... There have been uh, there have been many cases of mentally unstable people in the past, you know, doing bizarre things. But 
anyways, let's say this was the start of the zombie apocalypse, but, so, this is kind of what I do in the situation, you know, I think, uh, realist, or, I think, um, it would, like, if there were a zombie apocalypse, there would be the fast type of zombies, you know, they would, um, but they couldn't move any faster than, like, a normal person could, you know, so, they would look much like normal people, but they would just be kind of in a different, uh, mental state. So, um, yeah, they would be kind of the, they'd be, they'd move normal speed, I guess, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be the super slow kind that are all, like, dismembered, and, um, yeah, so they'd move at normal human speed, and, um, once the, the outbreak occurred, I would gather perhaps four or five of my closest friends, and basically form a squad to, um, to move down to make a push southward because in all the zombie apocalypse movies there seems or zombie apocalypse and apocalyptic type, uh, yeah excuse me uh, apocalyptic type of movies there seem like uh, anywhere south of wherever the movie is taking place seems to be the safe haven which I don't even know if there's a geographical reasoning for that but that just seems to be the case so I'll take my squad. You know, you'd need maybe, like, like one dude on, with an assault rifle, maybe, like, two with submachine guns. Um, or maybe one with submachine gun and, like, a dude with a shotgun. And then, like, a guy with, like, an LMG and then a dude with a sniper. So, you'd have a pretty balanced squad. Or, I'd have a pretty balanced squad. We'd, uh... You know, we'd move out and just, uh... You know, just kind of... Pwn the zombie nubs, you know? Just mow them down and blow them up and uh yeah i mean it would be kind of scary but part of me would kind of enjoy it you know like it would be uh be uh pretty crazy just uh uh just going around just mowing just killing zombies and um yeah just uh just running train on them much like i'm running train on these guys in this gameplay and um yeah, so this game looks like this gameplay is just about wrapping up, and uh, um, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I believe the final score is 32 and 1. So, um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you guys soon. Have a nice day.